from family events to volunteer opportunities to community happenings, there is a lot going on in your community. Learn about all the possibilities and opportunities on this episode of Community Hotline. Welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel and we're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. Tonight I have with me three great guests from different nonprofits in the area. You're going to learn a lot about some wonderful things going on in your community. First we're going to talk with the Community Energy Project. Here I have with me Sherry Smith. Hi. Welcome Sherry. Thanks. She's the Community en Engagement Manager at uh, Community Energy Project and Artie Kelly, the Office Assistant Intern. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you both here. So, um, Sherry, maybe you could start by telling me a little bit about the Community Energy Project, how it got started, what your mission is, some of the basics. Sure. Uh, Community Energy Project started in 1979 during the energy crisis at that time. We started off giving small workshops in people's living rooms, teaching people how to weatherize their own homes. And uh, back then, this opaque plastic was put on the outside yes, of your windows. I remember and then that. frames were hammered on the uh, outside, and Not that's attractive. how it was put no. on. No, our stuff is much, much more attractive now. Um, uh, later on, we added in um, programs for seniors and people with disabilities that we still continue. We um, go out in homes and weatherize homes. And in the past few years, we also make safety-related repairs to those mm. homes. And the last big piece that we do is we do a lot of lead poisoning prevention education. So we have free workshops on how to live in an older home with mm -hmm. lead and stay safe. And we have a second level uh, class on how to do a lead to paint disturbing project in a safe way. Hmm. We still give our weatherization workshops, we give them all over the Portland area. I think this year we're giving 60 workshops wow. total and yeah several times a week this time of year and they're very popular. I bet this time of year is really busy for you. Yes, yes. it is. So Artie what do you do at Community Energy Project? Well I answer the phones mm -hmm. and um, also help to refer people. Sometimes they call in for other issues okay. and I have my referral sheets and I you're kind of like a crisis line. <laughs> In a way, yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially if people are at a point where their electricity's uh, going to be turned off. That's and, a scary and this thing. Time of the, yeah, and this time of year especially. So are you able to refer them to social service agencies that can most help them the time with that? Most other nonprofits. Yeah, yeah. The most popular place we refer to is 211, ah, which 211 is a info. resource. Yes, right, I just uh, had them on the show here last week. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we refer, you know, refer a lot of people to them. Good, good. And then there's other issues they call in on. And I do a lot of the data entry from the workshops. And I'm also involved with the in-home services that going out to the seniors and disabled oh, okay. and putting together a advocacy program for the seniors where I'll go into the home with them and sit down and find out what their needs are. Nice. And, uh, personalize it for them. Personalize it, yeah. And sure. they really, really appreciate it. And I have a lot of fun with it. I bet I really you do. do. Yeah, I bet and you're good at that, too. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just, just having a great time. Good. So it sounds like back in the day, it used to be like a Tupperware party. People would come to the living room and they'd, uh, but they'd learn weatherization instead of burping their Tupperware. Um, do you remember that? I probably you remember burping your Tupperware. Uh, yes, I yes. don't know. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> so, um, but now you have the workshops. Where are they held? All over. We have them at churches, community centers. We have private workshops that are translated into different languages Ooh. or for, say, um, secret places like a domestic violence shelter, oh, we've given okay. workshops. So, and we have a lot of public ones. Some are at our office, but really they're just everywhere. Sun schools are oh, really yeah. a popular place. Oh, uh, we give workshops yeah. for Wicks, all kinds of groups. So if somebody has a group of people um, that they're like, wow, you know, they're lower income, they could really benefit from the class. If people come to, anybody can come to the class. Bill Gates can come to the class. I wish Bill Gates would come to the class. <laughs> um, 
Anyone I bet he can has come somebody to the... do his weaponization <laughs> for him. Probably. Maybe somebody can go to the workshop for him. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so people come to the class and they learn really simple, do it yourself, easy, affordable ways to um, save energy in their homes. But those that meet our income guidelines and live in our service area, which right now is the city of Portland, they can get a free kit of materials worth about $150. Wow, that's yeah. a great deal. Yeah. So the service area is just anywhere in the city boundaries, city, Pretty city much. of Portland. Yeah, and they're usually held in the evening. Okay. Uh, usually six to eight is our most common ones or on the weekends. Charge mm -hmm. for the workshops? Workshops are free nice. and they're family friendly, so people can bring their children oh, um, with great. them. That's children great. are welcome. Mm -hmm. So give me an example of some simple do-it-yourself things that people can do to, to weatherize their homes. Okay. Something that they might learn in a workshop. Our focus is really on draft stopping. Mm. This is great because renters can mm -hmm. also uh, use these things. So we have these. Um, this is the part I want to hear. These <laughs> are. I need for, <laughs> for me. So we use these internally mounted vinyl storm window kits, which is a fancy way of saying plastic in your windows. Um, you might be familiar with the kind you put up with some sticky tape and you take mm -hmm. a hair dryer and it shrinks up. So this is that at the next level. Okay. So this is held on with an adhesive track that has a groove in it and this, this locking strip that fits into it and this vinyl, four mm -hmm. mil vinyl snaps in, kind of like a big Ziploc bag. Oh, okay. You can picture yeah, it that way. Yeah. But it's really, really clear. It doesn't sag or you know, it's not all wrinkly and things. It gets, yeah, you, still you see can't tell. The yeah, you can't tell that it's <laughs> really? in from the outside. Oh. And oftentimes. how hard is it to install? <clears throat> it's pretty easy. The workshop's two hours, and we talk about how to install window kits. There's door weather stripping. So if you've ever been in a house where you can see light coming in around your doors, I or can feel, feel it underneath my door. I can feel, you know, so that, I'm always sticking a towel down there or something. You know? That's really easy to fix uh, You can, with a $5 door sweep. It's called a door sweep fits on there. You just screw it on and it'll stop that draft from under your door. Um, caulking, silicone caulk mm. is a really easy, very cheap way to stop drafts around your windows. Um, depends on the age of the house and right. you know what's going right, on with right. it. But even behind your outlets can have a yeah, draft. Yeah, I, and, I've felt that before. And with a 10 cent piece of foam, you can uh, stop the drafts coming in through your outlets. <laughs> um, I, you supply us with some pictures, so maybe we can pull some of those up and, and look at some of those while while we're talking here. What, what are we looking at here? Is this? So that's, that's the window the, kit. About. That's right. the Ziploc kit. So you can see how that tracking is being pushed mm -hmm. in and holding the plastic on. And if you step back, the win the plastic is on that window, the yeah, picture to the tell. right, and you can't really tell other than the fact that it's a little shiny. Wow, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> yeah, and it's reusable. They last three oh, to really? five years oh, typically. Yeah. So you can take it off and use it the next year. Nice. Absolutely. This is some door weather stripping going in. That's uh, Rosalie. She was at AmeriCorps with us last oh, nice. year, and she's actually still works with us now. So she's installing door weather stripping, and the one on the left is a white door weather stripping, and that is what blocks the gaps around your doors, around the sides and around the top. Oh, okay. uh, it's really pesky, so Good. that Good does a great job fixing it. So. When when you go out and weatherize somebody's home, you, it, say you say you do that for seniors sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, is there do you charge for that service? No, nope. nope. that's a free service, and we work with volunteers. Like Artie has definitely gone mm -hmm. out and weatherized. We have about I think last year we had 240 volunteers go oh, out great. into homes and do all that weatherization in one day. <laughs> lots of, <laughs> lots wow. of windows, doors, and we make repairs at the same time. So installing so, grab bars or Oh, that's handheld great. shower heads, things that's like wonderful. that. I didn't realize that you did that too. That's yeah. super. Yeah. And is that kind of where you come in when you go out and do a, um, do you do like an assessment when you talk to the people? You say you go into the seniors' homes and kind of talk to them? Right. And I kind of, we give them a, a notebook mm -hmm. um, with informational flyers and brochures in there from different agencies and resources. Okay. And uh, when they go out to do the assessment of what needs to be done, they drop that off. So when I go in, I go through it with them okay. and start questioning them and getting down to details and um, getting them comfortable with me so they start providing me with right. information of what so they, they trust may need. You a little bit. Right. Yeah. And so I you know, give them the information I can. And if they have, let's say, legal issues um, or um, 
fraud issues or whatever, I refer them on to Elders in Action uh, yeah. because the right of their personal, right, yeah. in their personal <laughs> advocacy program. Mm -hmm. So that's the type of thing I do. If I can answer it and help them, yeah. I'll do that. Isn't it great the way the different nonprofit organizations work together and support yeah. each other? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Where we'd be with a lot, of, oh, a lot of the ones that we have here. So you do the weatherization <coughs> workshops, and, and people can find out where they are and when they are on the website. Mm -hmm. But if they want to schedule one for a particular group, say a neighborhood association, mm -hmm. could they contact you and maybe have you come to a meeting and do a two-hour workshop, something like that? Yeah, absolutely. This time of year, uh, we're pretty, pretty booked busy. out. Yeah. But come uh, September or August, it's a great, it's the perfect time to give us a right call and say, hey, make some, get on that calendar because it fills up pretty fast. Yeah, do it before... Uh, Everybody, yeah, is everybody else and does. Really realizing yeah, they need absolutely. It. <laughs> and then the lead poisoning prevention workshops, you also have those too. Yeah. It, lead poisoning prevention, that's just like being aware of where there might be lead in your home, or what, what's that like? So, lead is, lead paint is the biggest hazard, mm -hmm. and it comes from housing that is pre 1978, pre 1950, especially. And lead paint isn't really having a problem when it's under your layers of latex paint right, on the wall. Right. That's not so much the issue. Where there is an issue are where there are friction points in your home. So say you have a double hung window that's got you know, 30 layers of paint on it and it's going up and down and it's grinding lead paint against lead paint and it forms this lead dust. Right. So we talk to people, um, well lead is, lead is harmful for children six and under, it can cause brain injury and um, it can actually cause a problem for the fetus in utero if a pregnant mm. woman uh, were to get exposed to lots of lead, say from a remodeling job, for oh, example. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what we talk to people about is, well, you know, is there lead in your home? We have some testing materials to see if mm -hmm. it's even an issue. And then we talk about lead safe cleaning so, uh, which is basically cleaning with soap and water. So instead of that windowsill that may have lead dust on it, instead of dusting it with a feather duster, kicking it up everywhere, uh, we're like, down. you know, wiping it down with soapy water and like really washing it, making sure that your vacuum has a HEPA filter in it, which is mm -hmm. blocks lead from blowing up in your face. And we actually loan out HEPA vacuums to people that have taken the class so that they can do lead safe cleanup if That's they need great. to. That's great. So what other things do you do that, that our viewers should know about? You have the lead workshops, you have the weatherization workshops, you provide the kits for people that qualify, is, mm -hmm. that, is that correct? What else do we need to know about? Well, so to support the um, free services that mm -hmm. we do, we do have some fee for service oh, okay. services. So we now have we can't say the prices on the air, but you can tell us what, what services That's are. That's fine. The prices are complicated, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, one of our, our new thing is actually we've gotten into community home performance. So this is when people want insulation, they, and they have the money to um, pay for it. Insulation or a new furnace or a new water heater. And, you know, there's a lot of tax rebates that mm -hmm, are out mm -hmm. there. So we walk people through, okay, so here's kind of, we'll do an audit and... Um, we have conduct it's called a blower door test so this is a big fan that goes inside your door and mm -hmm. it depressurizes your house and you can tell where there are air leaks oh wow so based on that and some other tests you know we'll say here's what we recommend mm -hmm. and people can actually pay us for that service oh, great. we also train contractors how to do lead safe work so the epa requires if you're ever having work done on your home, especially if children, mm -hmm. um, and it's an old house, you really want it to be done in a lead safe way because preventing <laughs> poisoning yeah. is really the way to avoid that. So, um, and the EPA requires contractors to have a certain certification to be working on different housing. So do you different do housing. the certification? So we do the right. certification right. for contractors. Right. And we also sell our more unique retail or we sell our more unique weatherization items like the window kits you mm -hmm. can't really buy around here and the door weather stripping we order it from the east coast so we sell that as a fundraiser right. as well so if people exceed income guidelines or say we can't serve gresham for example right, right. Um, they can still get them they can you. still yeah. get them and they yeah. can still come to the class and learn all the great ways to affordably weatherize their home that's great well, we're just about out of time. So um, if people are interested in finding out more, attending workshops, any of that, your website, that would be the place to go. Yes, definitely. And, uh, or call us. CommunityEnergyProject.org. <laughs> Talk to Artie when she 
answers the phone yes. in her nice and friendly <laughs> manner. She'll take you to the right place. Yeah. I'm sure she will. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for being on here to tell thank us about you. the Community Energy Project. Sounds like you're very busy but doing super work. So yeah, thanks, thanks for, very much. Yeah. Thanks for having us on. You bet. And don't go away. We'll be right back. We have lots more to talk about here on Community Hotline. We'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you.